Hello YouTubers, 0 to 100 here and welcome to my channel 0 to 100 Adventure. So 2018 motorcycle season is upon us. It's been a long winter, six months of hibernation and I'm really looking forward to getting out there and riding. I have a lot planned for the season, a lot of uh, bike reviews, test rides, showroom walkarounds, reviews of equipment, accessories, clothing and so forth. So be sure to subscribe to get updates of when I upload and I do plan to upload regularly, weekly, if not more. So right now this video is going to be about my motor vlog setup, about the audio, specifically the audio challenges that us motor vloggers have due to the wind factor so you know everything is good and well until you start hitting around 60 miles 100 kilometers an hour and you start having to battle the winds especially on naked and i have a proper windscreen which helps but you still get the crosswinds that causes audio problems so that's what today's video is going to be about. And I'm going to start here with my helmet. This is the Schuberth C3. It is a really good helmet. I bought it last year. Happy with it. It is one of the quietest helmets out there. It is a modular helmet, so it opens up, right? Comfortable, good padding, good safety ratings. Like I said, one of the quietest helmets out there. Connected to my Schuberth C3. I have the Cena SMH10, right? This is the dual pack. So I bought this for the wife and myself and it is excellent. I bought this about two years ago and I'm super happy with this Cena SMH10. Now what it is, is a Bluetooth headset intercom system. This is the main unit right here. And this is what controls everything. Now you can get uh, connected to your mobile phone so you can take uh, calls hands-free. You can connect to your pillion so I can connect to my wife and communicate to her uh, while on tour at high speeds. No problem. I can connect up to four other motorbike riders in tandem. So conference call and you can all communicate at the same time which is great usually the front runner checks out uh, the road conditions and warns the other bikes at the back when on tour right things like when it's safe to overtake you can listen to music you can uh, listen to gps instructions uh, on your mobile phone or on a standalone gps unit so the cena smh10 connected to the helmet right runs two stereo speakers it has this boom mic and really really good mic audio quality coming from the Cena SMH10 so much so that when I receive a call people find it hard to believe that I'm talking to them while riding the motorbike doing a uh, hundred and odd kilometers an hour and you they would not say that i'm on the motorbike the audio is that great so for the video i've been using the hero for silver very good camera very happy with it right it records a video up to 4k 15 frames per second this is a really good camera this is what i've been using up until now and i'm going to put samples of the video quality i usually don't run 4k 15 frames per second my go-to resolution is 1080p 60 frames per second um, on the hero for silver and the problem comes with the audio the challenge is with the audio the video is never the problem there's so many good products out there right the problem is with the audio. Now to run good audio from this, you cannot use the external mics. Uh, sorry, you cannot use the internal mics uh, of the GoPro camera because the wind buffeting, the wind noise 
is going to render the audio useless. So, a lot of people use the GoPro with an external mic like this lapel mic. So they connect it through the USB to, well, you buy the adapter, so it's a USB adapter, USB to 3.5 millimeter jack, and then you have your uh, input, and you connect the lapel mic on the inside of your helmet, and thus you have an in-helmet audio. I didn't like this option because it is a lot of cables, a lot of connectivity, and furthermore, this unit is not waterproof. It needs a waterproof case. Now, my climate in Poland, it rains a lot. It rains almost all the time. So I don't want to have to stop and disconnect everything and stop vlogging for a little bit of rain. Running the external mic, you don't have a waterproof option and that proves problematic for me. So I found this. This is the Sina Bluetooth backpack. And this gives me the option to connect to my intercom system, right, without wires, without the clutter. And I can still run this with a waterproof case. It is a perfect solution. Now, it is Bluetooth audio, so the audio might not be as good as the wired microphone. If you get a wired microphone, you would have to spend uh, a good amount of money for a good quality mic with good noise cancelling features to run proper in-helmet audio. I'm going to show you examples of the Sina Bluetooth backpack audio. I think it does an awesome job and how it connects is basically it just connects to the GoPro like that yeah, and has a USB connector, USB to USB, come on, there we go, that is now all you need and you're ready to go, right, you have the option to slap on a waterproof case or this frame right here, that's it, quite compact, you've got access to your controls which you wouldn't have with a waterproof case you have access to your controls and you simply connect it to the GoPro mount which I have on the chin mount there we go That's what it looks like, yeah? No wires, completely wireless. It connects to my intercom system and I have good in-helmet in audio. And I will sh put up some examples of this. So I have been using the Hero 4 Silver. It's been an excellent camera up until now. I've had pretty okay sound, or should I say in-helmet sound, with the Senna Bluetooth backpack and that's what you're hearing too right now so I'm still using my old camera connected to the Senna 10C intercom wirelessly through Bluetooth connected to the Senna backpack that is then in turn connected to the GoPro and I'm going to show you this uh, close, up close and personal when I get home but I want a little bit more. I want the sound is a little bit muffled. I want to hear a little bit more of the ambient sound around me. And that's almost impossible because of the wind. I mean, we do speeds up to 130, 140, sometimes even exceed that. And uh, the wind noise is just too much. So I broke my camera out in the forest. I had a bit of a tumble and I broke the screen at the back of the camera and you can see it there it's broken 
The camera still works fine. This is an action camera. It's a really durable camera, by the way. I've dropped this many times and it keeps on working and it is still working right now. However, the glass is broken and I don't know how long it's going to continue working. The last thing I want is to be on tour and the thing decides to stop working. So I have decided to upgrade and I have upgraded to the latest Hero 6 Black. Excellent camera. A lot of improvements. One of the best cameras they've made up to date. This thing does everything. Everything. It's got GPS, it's got uh, stabilization, 4K, 60 frames per second. Wow, this thing's got zoom. So it's a big improvement over the Hero 4 Silver. However, this is waterproof right out of the box. You do not need a case, right? It's waterproof up to 10 meters. If you want to go deeper than 10 meters, which I will never go, then you can get the waterproof case, which allows you to go up to a depth of 40 meters. I will never go to a depth of 10 meters in the first place. So yeah, right off the right out of the box, waterproof. That's a big plus in my opinion. The big problem is the Sina Bluetooth backpack is no longer compatible with the Hero 5 and Hero 6 iterations of GoPro. So how am I going to manage the audio? You know I don't like cables. You still have the option to connect through an external mic USB-C to 3.5 millimeter it's a special adapter that you need to get from GoPro however you need to open this flap if you open this flap you lose the waterproof capabilities of this camera which I don't want to do so I'm going to keep the camera sealed I'm going to keep it waterproof I'm going to connect it to the original frame that it came with like so and i'm going to connect it like so same gopro mounts same chin mount system and i'll tell you why i chose the chin mount system over the side of the helmet right there we go that is my upgrade that is the Hero 6 Black. Straighten it out. No cables. Just like that. The way I like it. Completely waterproof. And I prefer to mount it on the chin mount because it allows you to look in different directions. Rather than the side here, which in my opinion creates a lot more buffeting and wind noise due to it being side mounted i prefer it in the front i have more control of it i can reach the power button rather quick even with the gloves and that is just my preferred option so what to do with the sound ladies and gentlemen well that's where this baby comes in this is the Zoom H1 digital sound recorder and I am actually recording this right now. I'm using my iPhone 8 Plus for the video. Yeah, running at 1080p and I'm going to show you a comparison of the 8 Plus audio and this audio here. Now I've chosen this because you can connect an external mic into the line in and run this then through to your helmet for the in helmet audio. This is also a good solution because if I have two helmets or three helmets, I have an off road option. Yeah, I can use this helmet, right? And just take this and the lapel mic and install it on the next helmet 
for the in helmet audio it takes a few seconds the sound recorder goes into the inner pocket of my motorcycle gear my motorcycle jacket it's comfortable it's a small unit it's not a problem whatsoever and I have the option to change helmets quite easily whereas with the Bluetooth headset I didn't have that option because I was bound to only one intercom system per helmet. I did not run multiple intercom systems on multiple helmets. One for myself and one for the wife. The wife's helmet is too small for me, of course. So, without having the cable and the clutter, I chose this. I've seen a lot of reviews and good feedback with the Zoom H1 digital sound recorder. It is not only a good device for in-helmet audio, but for ambient uh, recordings like I'm doing right now, it's a lot better than the internal mics of the devices like the GoPro, the iPhone, and so forth and so forth, right? So I've run some tests yesterday. The weather was pretty good. I still want to run more tests. This is a cheap lapel mic that I got off eBay for next to nothing. I can't remember. I bought this a long time ago. I bought this for PC. It works well for PC. I've tried it on this. However, it starts clipping at high speeds. At low speeds, it's still okay. And I'll give you some examples of this. And you tell me what the audio quality is like versus the Sina uh, Bluetooth uh, backpack. Now, I have ordered um, a lot better microphones for the purpose of in helmet audio hopefully they will not clip at high speeds i've seen reviews out there that say the rode and the uh, uh, giant squid microphones are up there with the best i've even seen a uh, youtuber use iPhone 5S microphones for the purpose of uh, motor vlogging. So it's by trial and error, uh, depending on your setup, which mic will be better, which mic cancels out the noise a lot better. Now you can run this independently, yeah, underneath the seat, in your backpack, um, and so forth for better engine sounds. However, I found that even with the lapel mic connected to this unit at good quality settings, you can pick up still quite a bit of the engine sound and your voice, which is the main purpose uh, for my motor vlogging. So highly recommended the Zoom H1 for all of your audio requirements. Now, yes, you are running separate files. So you've got your video and audio file coming from your GoPro and you've got a separate audio file, but in post-production, it is easy to edit and synchronize simply by honking the horn three times or clapping three times and you've got the waves to synchronize. That is generally what I'm going to be using uh, from now on moving forwards. Yeah, I'm going to be using this for my audio and the GoPro. And I hope that you guys um, will enjoy a much richer audio experience. Guys, that's all I have for you right now. I'm going to post some samples of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you, those that are into motor vlogging or even not motor vlogging, the Zoom H1 is really an all-purpose uh, digital sound recorder like professional studios. You can get a lot more expensive equipment like the Zoom H6, but for my purposes, being a hobbyist, I think that this will do. It's 100 uh, US on uh, Amazon. It's not an expensive unit and it will give you really great audio quality much better than the audio options on the gopro or any other camera that is guaranteed guys thank you for more thank you for watching i hope that you found this useful if you liked the video give me the thumbs up subscribe hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button 
hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload. There's going to be a lot of content. Help a guy grow his channel. This means a lot. Thank you. Ride safe. Take care. Live to ride. Ride to live. See ya and thanks for watching. Bye bye. So the option is the Zoom H1 and I still have to try different configurations, different setups to see how and where I have to place the zoom, if I need to use a mic, etc. for the best audio. And that's what this is all about. Today I'm going to be doing some audio tests. This is running a lapel mic connected to the Zoom H1 to get the in-helmet audio. The settings on the H1 Zoom are still the same. This is now me riding with my visor open, doing about 80 kilometers an hour. All right, we are synchronized. We're recording with the lapel mic. End of testing today. And I think that I'm going to run out with the configuration that I will be using most just to check it out. Now I've put GPS on my new GoPro just to see what that is all about because that's a new feature that I'm not used to and let's see what happens right let's go everything is locked I hope yeah let's check if I haven't dropped anything do a sweep yeah Everything is good. Good to go. All right. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. I hope this video really will help those of you that do motor vlogging. And even if you don't do motor vlogging, and if you want high quality sound, and if you're a videographer running external audio with decent quality digital sound recorders is always a good option thank you for watching my channel zero to 100 adventure and i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe and share to help a guy grow his channel and if you want to watch more of my videos please follow the links to the right thank you and hope to see you soon